Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So this week in Resonant Battles, of course, we're in Interval 19 from last week, and uh, quite the tricky bonus rotation because the units I have for options, as you can see, there's zero dancers, which definitely complicates the clear a bit because, well, we don't use items, so there's no Dancer's Veil, there's no Lightning Charm, all that stuff. But uh, we did manage to get get it to work. Um, tried it quite a few teams and ended up coming up with a very simple idea. It's like, once I did this, I was like, why did I not do this sooner? <laughs> But uh, first things first, Shamir gets to use her survivalist bow to just take out Jafar without taking a counterattack. Which is kind of important in other p potential clears I was trying, but the idea was I was trying to simultaneously bait units, but a lot of units couldn't survive, say, a Sarah and Florina attack or whatnot. So there's definitely some issues. We're gonna rally Claude here. And Shamir is going to take out Sarah super easily here. Nino gets taken out by Claude. And we're chilling at pretty much at this point. Gonna go ahead and smite up Shamir for no reason. We don't actually need to do that. <laughs> because she can just move up two spaces. And now we're going to rally attack speed with Annette on Claude, and thanks to Defense Res Ruse as well, and just general shenanigans, we're able to pick up the one round KO. And because of that, the two blue thieves that are on their way to escaping can get caught by Claude and Shamir. Claude, thanks to Annette's pressure, allowing him to move three spaces and easily double this blue thief. And Shamir, we're going to smite her up and take out the blue thief out of range of... I don't know how to pronounce his name. Carol? Carell? <laughs> However you pronounce his name. But, uh... It's, it's not necessary. We're just doing it because we can. But uh, we can snipe down this red thief here. And snipe down this green thief, who's also trying to escape. And just for the shizzles and giggles, we can rally Claude with a net. But it's definitely GG at this point. Uh, you can see a bit shy of, of taking out... I'm just going to call him Carol. <laughs> but uh, super nice clear, super clean. It's so simple. That's the thing that really caught me off guard was how simple the solution was. But here we're gonna have Annette just pick up the kills because she definitely Let's helped out in more ways than one. So we'll just feed her the kills slowly but surely. She has to t get three hits in on this red thief. But it will all work out in the end and I guess in the meantime we can just break the stuff. So they just break everything, because why the heck not? And a GG. As you can see, Guidance really technically wasn't necessary on Claude, I don't believe. It might have been necessary, I don't actually know, because I... I've Some of these skills are unnecessary, like we don't need Speed Tactic here. Um, I don't think we need Attack Defense Soul and Shimmer. There's a lot of things that aren't necessary, we just have them because why not? And with that, we'll be getting a nice juicy 7,800 feathers, which is pretty great. Considering we're always on the hunt for feathers and always building units nowadays. Like, most recently, a uh, Lachesis, where I'm just using Hector for the shizzles, shizzles and giggles in Arena because we, we're not trying to stay in tier 21. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ethan Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.